We've started R. We're going to do some basic calculations and data handling, which you can do by typing into the console here. We have a prompt, the uh, greater than sign, that shows us that R is ready to accept input. So to do a basic calculation, we just type in, for example, 5 plus 3, press enter, does the calculation, and puts the answer on screen. R follows the normal maths order of precedence. So, for example, if I do something like 2 plus 3 times 5, it does the multiplication first. I can change that by using brackets. Um, rather than type in the calculation again, if I use the up arrow and down arrows, it will step me through the list of previous commands. This is called history. So I can come back to the previous command and then edit it to have the brackets. Press enter and again it does the calculation. Rather than typing the numbers directly, I can store them in objects, in named objects. So for example, this command, it takes the number 3 and uses this symbol here the less than sign and the minus sign tells it to store the value in the named object first.num. This time when I press enter I don't get an answer because I've not asked it to calculate anything I've only asked it to store the value. We'll do the same a second time this time storing the value 4 and then once I've stored those values, I can use the names in place of numbers within calculations. So for example, I can add the two together. I can also store more than one value in the same name. So for example, this time, by using this colon uh, syntax, I'm going to store the numbers 1 to 10 within lots nums. If I want to look inside these named objects without doing any calculations with them, type the name, press enter, and it shows me the value. I can also do the same using the print command and also the str command. Now this time as well as it giving us the value 3 it's also got this bit of text to num. That's telling us what type of object it is. Each object that we create in, in R it has its own um, type, its own what's known as class which we can see by using the class command. So this tells us that that particular object is numeric. So in summary we've seen how to use numbers directly in calculations, how to store those numbers or the um, data into um, named objects, how to look at the values of those objects by using print, str, etc or just typing the name directly. And we've also seen that those named objects have their own particular type.